Hey there, it's John with Excel Campus, and in this video, we're gonna look at how to split text in cells with Power Query. So in this example, we have this column of names, uh, first and last name, and we want to split this into multiple columns that contain just the first name and last name. We're also going to look at a bit more advanced example uh, where some columns or some cells, I should say, have three names. They potentially have a middle name. And we're going to look at how to split this into three columns for first, middle, and last name. And we're going to use Power Query for this. And the reason we're using Power Query is that it allows us to fully automate the process. So if our data changes or we get new data in the future, it'll just be a simple button click to update and refresh our data. And I'll explain more about that process at the end of this video. So I'll also make this file I'm using available for free download and put a link to that in the description below this video. So I'm on the first sheet here, the split name sheet. I'm just going to select any cell inside the table here. We'll go to the data tab in the ribbon. If you're on an older version of Excel, you'll go to the power query tab. And then we're going to click the from table or range button. And that's going to open up the query editor here and show us a preview of our data. Now, of course, Power Query has a ton of buttons here that allow us to do different types of transformations. We're going to first uh, duplicate this column because we don't want to split this column here. So we're going to duplicate it and then split the new column. So we'll right click, duplicate column. And now we have a copy of that column here. And to split this column, it's very simple in Power Query. First, just select the column. Then on the Home tab here, we'll go to the Split Column dropdown, and we're going to choose By Delimiter. Uh, delimiter is a character here. And of course, with this column, we want to split this by the space character. Now, these techniques that I'm showing today will work with any type of character. So if you want to split this email address column, you could do that as well, or even this phone number column by the dash. You can use this same process. And I'm going to leave that as a challenge for you as well. But here in the uh, split column by delimiter window that pops up, we have to, or we're able to choose the delimiter. And Power Query actually automatically chooses this for us. It's detected that space character in the column and it's made that selection for us. Of course, if you have a different character, you can select it from the dropdown here. If you don't see the character in the list, you can choose custom and then type in the character that you want to split by. But we'll leave this as space. Our next option here is what, where we want to split at. Now, in this case, we only have one occurrence of the delimiter. So we can leave this at each occurrence of the delimiter because there's only one occurrence of that space, which is between the first and last names. So we'll just leave that as is. We'll go ahead and hit OK. So really, we didn't need to make any changes here, which is nice. We'll go ahead and hit OK. And now we have two columns, one with the first name and last name. And of course, we can rename these. Just double click the header there. I'll type first here, then we'll double click this one. Uh, oops, type last, not name, type last and hit enter. And now we have our columns split. We could also move these if we want. I'll select this one, hold shift or control, uh, select that column and drag these over to the left so they're next to the full name column. And of course with Power Query, you can make other transformations here, filter down the data, whatever you need to do. At this point, we'll just leave it as is. We'll again go to the Home tab and click the top half of the close and load button. That's going to insert a new sheet in the workbook and output the results right here. And as you can see, we have the uh, full name, the original full name column and our new first and last name columns. Now, I quickly want to mention that if you're not familiar with Power Query yet, I do have a free training webinar going on right now that covers Power Query, Power Pivot, Power BI, even pivot tables and macros and VBA and how all of these new modern power tools fit together in Excel. And I'll put a link to that in the description below this video. All right, so now let's take a look at the more advanced example where we have uh, three names or potentially three names in a cell. And we need to split this uh, into three columns. So again, we'll select any cell here inside the table, go to the data tab on the ribbon, choose from table or range. That'll open up the Power Query Editor. And again, here, I'm just going to quickly uh, make a duplicate copy of the column. And this is the one we'll split. So with this column selected, again, Home tab, Split Column, and By Delimiter. Now in this case here, some cells contain a middle name. So they contain two spaces, two of those delimiter characters. So we need to work from right to left in this case. 
So we're going to uh, still choose space here or leave it uh, selected for us. And then now we're going to choose split at rightmost delimiter. And the reason we're going to do this is that's going to split the last name out first. So you see what happens here. It's only gonna split one time at the rightmost delimiter. We'll hit okay. And now we have this new column that contains only the last names, only the name at the very far right. And as you can see here, this uh, first column contains both the first name and in the case where there is a second name, this could be a second first name or a middle name, it contains that as well. So you might wanna leave it as is. This might be sufficient, you just need a first name and last name, or you're just trying to extract out the last names. This might be sufficient. But we can also uh, put that middle name or that second name in another column. And we can do that again by just selecting this column here. Again, go split column by delimiter. And again, we'll choose the space as the delimiter. And at this point, if we know that we only have two uh, values here, or two names, I should say, we can do at each occurrence. If there's potentially three names still in this first column, we can choose leftmost, and then that will give us our first name in the single column and potentially multiple names in the middle column. So we can, leave, we can choose that one, hit OK, and now you can see here we have our first, middle, and last name. And of course, we just wanna quickly rename these. I'll call this first, hit enter. We'll call this uh, middle. And you'll see in the middle column that, of course, some of these cells contain values. Where there was not a middle name, we just get this null, and that just means blank in Power Query. That's just going to output a blank cell back into the Excel worksheet. And in this column, we have our last name. Again, we'll uh, just quickly move these over here to uh, the left, I'm sorry, to the right of the full name column. We can uh, then click the top half of the close and load button. That will create that new worksheet in the workbook and output our results. And as you can see here, we have the three columns and where we don't have a middle name there uh, for specific rows, the cell is just left blank. Okay, so as I mentioned at the beginning of the video, we can use Power Query to fully automate this process. So if we get new data, and I have some new data on this new data sheet here, let's say we get some new data, I'm just going to right click copy or control C, we'll go back over to our split name sheet, I'm gonna hit control down arrow to go all the way to the bottom of this, and I'm gonna paste that new data right here below the table. So control V or right click paste, that will paste the data, automatically extends the table as well. And now all we need to do is we'll go back to our query. We'll go back to this query here that's dependent on that uh, table or uses that table as a source. And then all we need to do is right click this table, any cell on the table and choose refresh. Keyboard shortcut is Alt F5. When we do that, that automatically reruns the query and outputs the new results. So if we jump to the bottom of this table here, we can see that here is all of the new rows and we have the names uh, split out there in the new rows. So what happens when we refresh, we jump back over into the query editor here and we'll show that query. What happens when we refresh is all of these steps over here that we took to duplicate the columns, split it, uh, change the names and rearrange it, all of those steps are rerun. All we have to do is refresh it and it reruns all the steps. So we don't have to take all of these steps again. This is how it becomes a fully automated process. And of course, with Power Query, you can connect to uh, sheets in other workbooks, CSV files, databases, and even websites to pull in data into Excel and do all those data transformations as you're bringing data into Excel. And again, fully automate the data cleanup process. Now I should mention that there are other ways to go about this uh, process of splitting text using formulas or even something like text to columns in Excel. If you're interested in those techniques, leave a comment below this video and I'll be happy to uh, share solutions on those as well. But Power Query to me is the ultimate solution because it helps us just fully automate this process. Anytime our data changes, we can just refresh the query and output the new results. So I hope this has helped you. Of course, if you have any questions or suggestions, leave a comment right below this video. And again, if you're new to Power Query, feel free to check out our free training webinar going on right now. It's called the Modern Excel Blueprint. And again, it'll help you bring all of these new tools and features together in Excel and also show you how to become the Excel hero of your organization. So I'll put a link to that in the description below this video. Thanks again for watching. Have a great day and I'll see you in the next video.